It was a rough day in Denver for Dark Prescott and the Cowboys' Jack Dempsey app each week. National NFL writer Mark Muskie will provide his ranking of the league's 32 teams. Pittsburgh got some quality production from an old, familiar source in moving to 20. Meanwhile, Dallas showed serious flaws in a punishing loss to the Broncos. 1. Pittsburgh Steelers 20 last week's rank 1 WR Martavis Bryant's 91 receiving yards in Sunday's triumph over the Vikings proved significant. His re-emergence diversifies the offense and gives opposing defenses another major concern, along with fellow WR Antonio Brown and RB Levon Bell. There are only so many options that can be taken away from an offense. QB Ben Roethlisberger was efficient against the Vikings and the defense did its part. The Steelers play Sunday at Chicago and should be 30 headed into a showdown with the Ravens on October 1st in Baltimore, too. Atlanta Falcons 20 last week's ranked to a huge lead didnt quite evaporate this time. The win Sunday night over the Packers was impressive. Matt Ryan to Julio Jones still is mighty good. The defense generated turnovers. The Falcons seem to have left the Super Bowl behind and still look like the number one team in the NFC. But Sunday's game also was costly, with pass rusher extraordinaire Vic Beasley expected to miss about a month with a hamstring injury. 3. Kansas City Chiefs 20 last week's rank 3 The offense was very good against the Eagles for a second straight game. Rookie RB Kareem Hunt continued to stand out and QB Alex Smith provided another solid outing. The defense sacked Eagles QB Carson Wentz six times. But covering opposing tight ends will be an issue after safety Eric Berry's season-ending injury, made plain by the Eagles' Zach Kerr five catches for 97 yards. The Chiefs have probably been the most impressive of the three very impressive AFC West teams, with the Broncos and Raiders also 20. 4. New England Patriots 11 Last week's rank 6 Tom Brady is back to being Tom Brady, rather than the imposter who found his way on the field during the opening loss to the Chiefs. Brady took out his frustrations on the Saints' defense and the Patriots looked like their old, reliable selves. But the injuries are piling up, with T. Rob Gronkowski, R.B. Rex Burkhead, and W.R.'s Chris Hogan and Philip Dorsett all hurt Sunday. Still, as long as Brady is on the field, the Patriots remain among the AFC's top contenders. He and coach Bill Belichick will find a way to make things work. 5. Oakland Raiders 20 last week's rank 7 RB Marshawn Lynch has a relatively modest 121 rushing yards on 30 carries in the first two games of his NFL return with the Raiders. Perhaps he is conserving energy for his sideline dance routine. This is, as expected, an excellent team, and the odd dynamic of whether the city will fully embrace its rejuvenated but soon to depart franchise will be interesting to watch all season. 6. Baltimore Ravens 20 last week's rank 11 This appears to be a defense-first team. The Ravens have allowed only 10 points in two games and get to face struggling on Chagan QB Blake Bortles and the Jaguars this weekend before readying for a meeting with the Steelers. It's up to QB Joe Flacco and the offense to realize their role by avoiding big mistakes and allowing the defense to win games. 7. Denver Broncos 20 last week's rank 12 The defense was very effective Sunday and made Dallas offense look extremely bad. If it wasnt quite the caliber of the Super Bowl winning units from a couple years ago, it was pretty close. Trevor Simeon signaled that he just might be able to give the Broncos the play they need at QB. Yet until he does it on a consistent basis, it's best not to get too carried away. 8. Detroit Lions 20 last week's rank 8 Their triumph Monday night at the Meadowlands allowed the Lions to join the Falcons and Panthers as the NFC's only 20 teams. They also showed that they can win a game without QB Matthew Stafford necessarily leading the way after he threw for only 122 yards against the Giants. But the Lions played good defense, ran the ball effectively and got a brilliant TD on a punt return by rookie Jamal Agnew. They're a more balanced team than they've been in the past. Nine. Carolina Panthers 20 last week's rank 14 The Panthers are 20 and that's a rarity in the NFC. But the offense has struggled and QB Cam Newton still is finding his way as he adjusts to his new offensive role. He simply cannot last playing as he did in his MVP season two years ago, when he ran the ball with abandon and put his body at such risk. The adjustment to being more of a pocket passer is difficult yet necessary, and it will only get tougher with the loss of T. Greg Olson to a broken foot. 10. Tampa Bay Buccaneers 10 last week's rank 17 Is it time to believe in the Buccaneers perhaps? 
They continue to improve with QB Jameis Winston, and they looked very good Sunday in thrashing the Bears. Tampa Bay's biggest problem might be playing in the same division as the NFC's last two Super Bowl participants, the Panthers and Falcons, who are both off to 20 starts, 11. Seattle Seahawks 11 last week's rank 9 If members of the Seahawks' defense aren't upset with the team's offense at this point, maybe they should be, 12. Green Bay Packers 11 last week's rank 4 QB Aaron Rodgers had far too little help as things progressed Sunday night in Atlanta. His injury plagued defensive line led to him to absorb too many jarring hits and the exits of WR's Jordy Nelson and Randall Cobb didnt help, either. The Packers will remain among the NFC's best teams if and when they can put their projected starters on the field. But until then, it will be difficult for Rodgers and the offense to thrive. 13. Dallas Cowboys 11 last week's rank 5 RB Ezekiel Elliott was a non-factor in Denver and QB Dark Prescott couldn't get it done against the Broncos' pass rush without a viable running game to help him out. Elliott and Prescott played perhaps their worst NFL games in tandem, and Elliott's lack of hustle and effort to try to make a tackle after a Prescott interception was inexcusable. Coach Jason Garrett and owner Jerry Jones would be wise to address that in a meaningful way, more meaningful than Garrett merely speaking to Elliott about it. 14. Houston Texans 11 last week's rank 18 rookie QB Deshaun Watson made the one play that mattered in Thursday night's triumph over the Bengals with his dazzling 49-yard TD run just before halftime. That play demonstrated why Watson should have been the starter all along. He can make something out of nothing, and those situations will arise far too frequently with the current state of the offensive line. Tom Savage did not deserve to be benched after one half of one game. But Watson should have been playing already, and now that he is, the Texans are a bit better on offense. 15. Tennessee Titans 11 last week's rank 20 The Titans got the running game revved up, mostly with Derrick Henry, in their victory in Jacksonville to overcome a mediocre passing performance by QB Marcus Mariota. Nobody, it appears, is going to run away with this division, and the Titans' chances to win the AFC South look as good as anyone's. 16. Miami Dolphins 10 last week's rank 21 QB Jay Cutler was pretty good in his first game for the Dolphins after being lured out of retirement, throwing for 230 yards and a TD in the win in LA over the Chargers. Most importantly, he did and throw an interception. It's so far, so good in his reunion with coach Adam Gase, who continues to seem to know how to get the best out of Cutler. 17. Philadelphia Eagles 11 last week's rank 10 Why, exactly, did the Eagles sign RB Legaret Blount if his second game with the team was going to be a zero carry outing That's what happened Sunday in Kansas City, when coach Doug Peterson and offensive coordinator Frank Reich dialed up 46 passing attempts by QB Carson Wentz. That's just misguided, pass happy offensive play calling. The Eagles did manage to get WR's Alshon Jeffrey and Torrey Smith more involved in the offense but they need to utilize Blount to get rid of him. 18. Washington Redskins 11 last week's rank 24 things could have come unraveled very early in the season but QB Kirk Cousins led the big drive when it counted and the Redskins emerged with a tough victory over the Rams. All it means, really, is that a terrible start is averted. The injury issues of T. Jordan Red remain a concern. The offense simply isnt the same without him and the Redskins face a tough game with the Raiders coming to town to play Sunday night at FedEx Field, 19. New York Giants 0-2 last week's rank 13 The Giants are 0-2 and the offense is a mess. The offensive line is doing QB Eli Manning no favors and his receivers are dropping too many passes. Odell Beckham Jr. played Monday night against the Lions but only a limited number of plays. Fellow WR Brandon Marshall has been a non-factor. The Giants have gone eight straight games without reaching 20 points, including last season's playoff defeat to the Packers. They probably will be playing for their season Sunday in Philadelphia. 20. Arizona Cardinals 11 last week's rank 27 narrowly beating the luckless Colts technically counts as a win. But it's not exactly much of a confidence booster. With RB David Johnson sidelined, it appears the offense will be all about the passing of QB Carson Palmer. 21. Jacksonville Jaguars 11 last week's rank 15 Blake Bortles, alas, is still Blake Bortles. And maybe the Jaguars aren't for real, after all, 22. 
Los Angeles Rams 11 Last week's rank 16 second-year QB Jared Goff got a chance to deliver in crunch time Sunday and DIDNT come through. It's part of the learning and developmental process. There still is reason for optimism under Sean McVay, the team's first-year coach, and defensive guru Wade Phillips. But the Rams have not arrived quite yet. 23. Minnesota Vikings 11 Last week's rank 19 The Vikings probably weren't going to win in Pittsburgh with Sam Bradford at QB. They certainly weren't going to win with Case Keenum at QB. But when coach Mike Zimmer said that Bradford's knee is fine regardless of whether he plays this week or in six weeks, that's not exactly quieting the alarm bells. Few would consider Bradford's knee to be fine if it takes him six weeks to be ready to play again. 24. Los Angeles Chargers 0-2 last week's rank 24. That's two stomach-churning losses for the Chargers to open the season. It has a familiar feel to it, doesn't it? Rookie kicker Young Hoku is a wonderful story but his two missed late FGs have already put his job on the line. Coach Anthony Lynn is sticking with him for now but that can't last if Ku's clutch misses continue. The Chargers aren't a bad team. But 0-2 is 0-2. And their inability to fit leave in the tiny stub hub center on Sunday means that the fight for LA is not off to a promising beginning. 25. Buffalo Bills 11 last week's ranked 26 so the stay in first place in the AFC East lasted only one week. But it was a glorious week, WASNT at 26. Cincinnati Bengals 0-2 last week's ranked 23 Colin Kaepernick deserves to be in the NFL. And if that ends up happening in Cincinnati, great. But it is a bit odd to see Kai Epinick's name come up in association with the Bengals given that they have a backup QB of some promise, AJ McCarron, who could get a chance if Andy Dalton is benched. There was plenty of pressure on Dalton and coach Marvin Lewis entering the season, and it's only intensifying with the 0-2, nods in two games start, 27. New Orleans Saints 0-2 last week's ranked 25 at this point, another 79 season actually might qualify as a major accomplishment. The defense has allowed opposing QBs Sam Bradford and Tom Brady to complete a combined 57 of 71 passes for 793 yards and 6 TDs with no interceptions in two games. Any controversy over RB Adrian Peterson's role is a mostly meaningless accompaniment to the fact that this simply isnt a very good team. 28. Indianapolis Colts 0-2 last week's rank 28 The move to Jack Harby Brissett at QB proved to be an upgrade over Scott Tolzian and the Colts at least remained competitive against the Cardinals. But actually win a game don't get carried away. Until Andrew Luck returns, Indianapolis is likely to remain very bad. 29. Chicago Bears 0-2 last week's rank 29 The calls for a switch to rookie QB Mitchell Trubisky are beginning. It serves to underscore just how disjointed the Bears' off-season plan for dealing with their QB situation was, first handing out a big contract to Mike Glennon in free agency and then trading up to draft Trubisky second overall. Sure, it might be time to turn to Trubisky. But does that mean casting aside Glennon so quickly and, in effect, admitting that his contract was a major mistake it's not a good situation but it is one of the Bears' own doing, 30. San Francisco 49ers 0-2 last week's rank 30 Anyone who thought things would look any different in the first season of coach Kyle Shanahan and GM John Lynch's new regime hadn't taken a close look at the situation those two inherited. There are no quick fixes here. This is going to take time. 31. Cleveland Browns 0-2 last week's rank 31 Migraines can be completely debilitating, so there should be nothing but sympathy for rookie QB Deshaun Kaiser's exit from Sunday's game and subsequent return. But there's always something with the Browns, ISNT their Kaiser's play took a step backward with his four turnover performance against the Ravens. The Browns are now 117 since the start of last season. 32. New York Jets 0-2 last week's rank 32 Why does one get the feeling there will be plenty of dancing opportunities on the opposite sideline at Jets games this season? Read more on the NFL No, John Gruden, that was not the most dramatic field goal you've ever seen made former NFL players concussion suit back in court amid delays in payment It irks my ever-loving nerves for the Jets, Marshawn Lynch's dance moves weren't so fun in experienced quarterbacks, porous lines are crippling scoring and crushing the NFL's watchability.